things we do is the front sights on these are about 100 thousandths wide, usually 98 right in that, and the rear sight on these guns are 108 wide, point 108 wide. What that does, if you're just shooting little bitty dots out there, slow, that's, that's okay. But since we're in a speed game, we want to find that front sight as quick as possible. So what we do is we open this rear sight to 140. And what that allows is daylight around each side of the front sight to where you can find it quicker. Right. So that's one thing that we do. Another thing that we do in these particular guns, Colt and USFA still stays with uh, the standard uh, hand spring that was designed in 1873 they, for authenticity. So what we do is we go in behind the frame, drill it, and install a coil plunger is what Bill Ruger figured out, I guess, back in the 50s. Right. And uh, that takes care Last of Lasts forever. Lasts forever. Uh, most of the guns that come from the factory, the bolt drops into the lead and then into the notch. Most of the time, they're just halfway through the lead and the notch. We like them to drop fully into the lead because when the speed shooting, a bolt can have a tendency just to vibrate or bounce a little. So this locks it up real tight, is it, that correct? It, it's corrected before it gets to the notch. And know that we sell a lot of pairs of pistols. So we sell pairs again. Well, what we do in the trigger, we normally set them at two and a half pounds, no creep. And uh, you have creep in one gun, no creep in the other. You go from shooting this pistol to this pistol, it's opposite. If this one had no creep, I might break the shot, but then I go right to this pistol. It doesn't have creep, I may break it before I'm ready. And consistency because, is not good. And consistency <laughs> is not good. That's absolutely correct. Another thing that we do, all single actions, if you use them a while, they have heavy drag marks right here where they come, where the hammer goes into the frame and it drags. So what we do right here through the top part of the hammer, we narrow the hammer seven thousandths okay. on each side and that eliminates the, the heavy drag down the hammers. And folks, I can tell you without any qualifications, reservation whatsoever, the first time I looked at these, I told myself I was going to buy a pair and that was before I met Jim, before I saw the action work on them, the guns are so nice. Then I saw the action work on them a while back and I gave Jim a deposit and I bought a matching pair immediately. These, I felt, were probably the finest single action firearm on the market. And uh, yeah, our shooting sport owes you a big favor. This is one hell of a gun, thank you. Well, thank you, Ron. I appreciate it.